Good morning everyone. Hope you've had a good day so far. Um, we're going to move on to our um, second sound with the U uh, phoneme from yesterday. Okay, we're going to start off with quick flash today. So I'm going to show you the cards, the phonemes. I'd like you to call out and say what sound they make and then we move on to writing our tricky words. So our first sound is J for jelly. V for vixen. W for whale. X for fox. Y for yellow. Z for zoo. Queen. Z for buzz. Comes at the end of the word. Ch for chocolate. Sh for shop. A for pain. E for teeth. I for night. O for boat. Z and sh. It's got two sounds. And n mm for writing. Comes at the end of the word. Okay. And yesterday's sound was short sound today we're going to practice the long sound it, it also makes a oo sound same jolly phonic action cuckoo cuckoo like the cuckoo clock okay yesterday was the short sound today is the long sound before we move on let's do our tricky words as well so i say the tricky word and i'd like you to write them down okay first tricky word is he he is a boy next one we. We are learning. Next one. Was. Let's write your W special. Next one. My. Remember my is with a Y. Me. Me is with an E. She. She is a girl. Okay, and the next one, B. Can you be quiet? And yesterday's tricky word, let's see if you can remember, you. You. Y O U. Okay, well done if you remembered your tricky words. We're going to keep practicing you this week. So if you got that one wrong, write it down four times and put it in your head and lock it in there so we can remember it tomorrow. Okay, you can stick that word up everywhere around your house, put it on your fridge, put it on your window, put it on your door. Okay, so every time you see that word, you know that it is you. Okay, so today we're going to practice the same grapheme that makes the long sound oo. Okay, and again it's normally at the end or in the middle of the word, just like u. Uh. So draw your phoneme frames for me, please. We're going to sound out and write the words down. First word we're going to write is this one's only got two phonemes though, two. Okay, so that's a tricky one, two. Now there's two types of two. Let's sound it out first and write it down. T, u, two. T, u, two. Okay, so we've been learning the tricky word two that looks like this. Okay, 
They both say the same thing, two and two, but they both mean two different things, okay? So this one with one O means when you are about to do something or you're going somewhere. So I am going to the shops, um, I am writing to my friend, okay? I am sending a gift to my brother, okay? So you're about to do something, that is two. This two means when you are also about to do something. So someone has done something and you are doing it too, or you agree with them too. So this one I would use it when I'm saying, yes, I would like to have some orange juice too, okay, because somebody else said it first. So this one is when you agree with someone else. This one is when you're talking about yourself about to do something. So they're two different things, okay? So that was our tricky word. This one is using our oo digraph. So now I'm going to change to to zoo. Let's sound it out and write it down. Again, it's only got two phonemes. Z, oo, zoo. Z, oo, zoo. Okay. Next one we're going to write boot. She wears her boots in the rain. Boot. Sound it out. B, u, t, boot. B, u, t, boot. Okay, next one. Zoom. The rocket went zoom into the sky. Zoom. Sound it out. Z, u, m. Zoom. Z, u, m. Zoom. Next one. Food. Food. I'm feeling hungry and I need some food. Sound it out. Food, 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 food. Next one, root, like the root of a plant. Root. Sound it out. R, u, t, root. R, u, t, root. Okay, next one, moon. I can see the moon in the sky. Moon. Sound it out. M, u, n, moon. Okay, next one, shoot. Shoot. The rocket went shooting in the sky. Shoot. Okay, be careful with this one because it's got two two phonemes. Uh, sorry, three phonemes, but it's got two digraphs in there. Remember, a digraph makes one sound, so it goes into one phoneme frame. Don't split it. Okay, so sound it out. Shoot. Shoot. Sh is one phoneme. U. T. Shoot. Good. Next one. Okay, this time I'm going to rub out my phoneme frame. Get rid of your phoneme frame because this is a long word. And what do we do with long words? We clap it out because it's got more than one syllable. Okay, we're going to write rooftop. Like, my cat is on the rooftop. Rooftop. Let's break it up. Rooftop. What's the first part? Roof. Let's sound that part out first. R, U, F, Roof. R, U, F, Roof. What's the next part? Roof, top. Now let's sound out top. T, O, P, top. Now it's one word, so we don't need the finger space in the middle. Okay, so we put the T next to the F, O, P, Roof, top. It's one word and we call this, this type of word, 
is called a compound word because if I break it up, it may, it's two separate words put together becomes a compound word. Like roof is a word and top is a word. But when they join together, it becomes a compound word. Okay? So something like lunchbox. Um, it's one word, but if I break it up, lunch is one word, box is one word. When you join it together, it's a compound word. But if I try to break up a polysyllabic word like because, um, actually no, not because. If I try to break, break up a word like children, chill and drun are not two separate words. So that's not a compound word. Compound word is made up of two separate words put together. Okay, so rooftop is one word, it's a compound word. Okay, let's move on to our sentences. So what about your boards? We'll start a new piece, uh, a new blank piece of paper. And our sentence is going to be a simple one to begin with. We're going to start off with, we can zoom to the moon. Just six words. Okay, let's repeat that again. We can zoom to the moon. Your turn again. We well done. Okay, pause the video, have a go by yourself, and then join me when you're ready. So, what was my first word? We. That's my tricky word, nice and easy. We, what comes next? We can. K -a -n. We can zoom. Sound it out. Z -u -m. Z -u -m. Remember, we're applying our U digraph today. We can zoom to what kind of to? It's got to be our tricky word to. We can zoom to, and then we can zoom to the, our tricky word. We can zoom to the moon. Sound out moon. M, u, n, moon. M, u, n, moon, full stop. We can zoom to the moon. Got our capital letter, finger spaces and full stop at the end. Does it make sense? We can zoom to the moon? Yes, it does. But I don't think we can zoom to the moon. Not just yet. Okay, so that is our first sentence. Once you've done that, well done. Let's move on to the next sentence. So rub out your boards or start a new blank piece of paper. Again, using our sentence fingers, this time we're going to write a bit longer and there's a polysyllabic word in there so you could practice breaking up some words as well. This one is going to be I can see a cat on the rooftop. Let's say that again. I can see a cat on the rooftop. Okay, your turn. I Well done. Okay, pause the video, have a go by yourself. Join me when you're ready. So, what was our first word? I. What kind of I? Writing about myself, so it's got to be capital I. I can. K -a -n. I can see. Okay, what two sounds can you hear in there? S E. Remember, it's got a long E sound, not I. S E, our digraph, remember that one? I can see A, A on its own. I can see a cat. C at. I can see a cat on. I can see a cat on the. I can see a cat on the rooftop. Remember our compound word, break it up. 
roof top let's sound that roof r u f roof r u f roof okay and what was the next part roof top top let's sound that out up, top, t, up, top, full stop. So we've got, I can see a cat on the rooftop. Capital letter, finger spaces and full stop at the end. Does it make sense? I can see a cat on the rooftop. Yes, it does. Can I see a cat on the rooftop? Not today, no. But usually Miso is hanging about on our rooftop just up there. Yeah, she's getting brave. Okay, so that's the end of our phonics session today. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. So it was the same graphing, but we're practicing with the longer sound today. And after this session, I'd like you to get back onto LGFL Busy Things and play the game Scribble and Spell. So log on to LGFL Busy Things, click on Early Years, Mr. Stepper Grip 1, Phase 2, 3 and 4, Basic Letters and Sounds, Blending and Segmenting, and scroll down and select the game Scribble and Spell. In this game, the, jog, the dog paints a picture. Um, you could click on the speaker and it tells you what it is, and you've just got to sound it out and put the, the sounds in the right order on your phone in frame. Okay, and you can have a go writing it down too. Um, but you're just practicing the sounds that we've been doing this week. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.